Track and sign day again, guys. Come and join us. It's not always about the bigger mammals when it comes to track and signs. Here we've got some great examples of bird tracks, something a bit different. Two ground living bird species. This one being a crowned lapwing. You can see those toes widely splayed out. It's quite a thin toe structure compared to this nocturnal bird called a spotted thick knee. What is quite nice about this track sequence is the fact that they are facing in different directions but if you follow this lapwing track a bit further down the road you'll act actually notice that he is stepping on top of this thick knee track which is a very good indication that this thick knee is a nocturnal bird and this is from a diurnal bird species. So we've been we've been following up on some some lion tracks last night around the lodge actually between our, our houses where we we're staying at the moment uh, a, a couple of lions were around making a lot of noise lots of roaring last night and uh, we've been following them a little bit now so we've got the tracks of what looks like a big male and I'll, I'll show you over here we've got the track nice big back pad you can see the three lobes which is typical of a of a cat those three lobes there and then with the male you have these nice big fat toes um, so that's his whole print there so we're going to keep going and see if we can catch up to this guy I'm assuming a, a nice big territorial male. So folks, we just uh, found in the vicinity of the lion tracks that we were busy following up on, leading on from what John had found, a, a lovely big male lion that had moved through the area last night. We've actually found some hyena tracks, which we're gonna take a closer look at. So folks, as you can see, here's the hyena track. Um, just to show you the difference, you can see the back of the lobe there, very different to a typical cat track. It doesn't actually have a, a three lobes at the back it's sort of also angled at one side as you can see it almost like pronates and the toes are large it's obviously a lot smaller track and if one had to look carefully you would see little toe marks little uh, nails which the hyena obviously has which do not um, retract into its into its pad so very different track there another track here 